Do Rag Wisdom here, folks, and welcome to Y2K 18.05.14, 176 days until the midterm elections. Happy 70th anniversary, Israel. Hurrah, hurrah. Except for traitor Trump. <clears throat> for those who've been following this page, you all know where I stand on Israel and on the so-called Palestinians. I try to avoid this topic because I want to avoid the stench of tribalism. But we are all still in our savage naked ape epic. And again, those familiar with my views on this subject know that I, as a tribal Jew, who, considering the Shoah, aka Holocaust, where they murdered a million newborn Jewish infants, will never be the first to give up our tribal ways. Understand me, I reject religion and the belief in a supreme being, just out of hand, but respect the notion that, ironically enough, the religion has granted my tribe a homeland the same as Italians have theirs or the French or the British or any other nation. The religion has again ironically allowed me to remain an identifying Jew because I can identify with our nation instead of a religion. Yes, my nation is the USA because I was born and raised here and will probably die here. I made most of my contributions while living here in the USA. However, I would never ever give up my tribal connection to the land of Israel. I have been taught through my years that the best thing to do is to be honest with people about who you are and about what you feel. I mean, Jews may try to hide from who we are, but we will always be reminded one way or another, especially in this tribal naked ape epic. Extermination camps in the USA? Are you kidding? <laughs> there was this great line near the end of the movie Chinatown where John Huston's Noah Cross tells Jack Nicholson's J. D. J. Giddis that given the situation, a person is capable of anything. And I believe that this can very well happen here. At least 40% of our country now support the birther bastard Trump for what he is. And that is a racist, traitorous, anti-Semitic, homophobic, Islamophobic, misogynist, fascist, xenophobic, liar, birther, bastard, and a turd. Why should the other 60% who don't support this creep give a shit for the Jews anyway? My tribe is a pain in the tuchus, right? So let the 40% Trump Putin clowns build their death camps. I do not expect any peace in the Middle East because there is religious as well as a binational war going on over there. We Jews have always hated the pagan tribes of the land of Canaan. We had to find some excuse to destroy these depraved bastards, right? So we invented something called a god that, among other things, demands manifest destiny. Whoa! So, so smart the ancient Hebrews were, that two other religions grew from their theological loins, Christianity and Islam. And as we Hebrews were to the Canaanites, the Christians and the Muslims have been to us. Each feel that they have monopoly on the truth, and each has in their own way wreaked a kind of havoc on our minds. I understand when some say that religion is a kind of idea virus and if you believe there's going to be peace in the Middle East in our lifetimes, I have a cold message for you. There isn't ever going to be any until the day we can separate our tribal and religious ways, that virus, 
from the rest of our besieged humanity. In the meantime, happy 70th to the modern country of Israel. But will there be a future with her unfortunate embrace of the traitor Trump? I literally gag, folks, when I saw the photo in the Washington Post showing pro-Trump posters in Israel. Pro-Trump posters in Israel. They might as well put Hitler up there. In fact, I will never vacation in Israel until they repent of the Trump evil. Don't get me wrong, I will always support Israel with my fixed income, especially those that advocate settlement in the liberated territories, aka occupied territories to the rest of the world. I will always support Israel, money, my word of mouth, whatever I can, but I'm not going to visit there, no way. The government of Israel has tainted our tribal lands with the traitor Trump name. And once the traitor Trump virus is eradicated from our entire world, folks, we are going to have to MICA! M-I-K-A! MICA! Make Israel kosher again! Make Israel kosher again! MICA! 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 Eradicate that Trump Putin name! MICA! It is sad that we Jews have spent a lot of our valuable time trying to be loved by the other tribes. We tried to kiss the Tukases of the Germans when, in the 19th century, we created the reform and conservative movements of Judaism. Mm. We assured the Germans at that time that we did not have a temple in Jerusalem. We have instead temples in Germany and then later all over the Western world. I don't personally use the term temple to the no places of Jewish religious tribal worship. They are synagogues or shuls or shtibels. And so the German Jews assured their Christian neighbors that their only temples were the ones they built, both reform and conservative, all over Europe, until Nazism, stoked by longtime theological Jew hatred and modern day anti Semitism, burned it all down. Downtown. Israel's love affair with Trader Trump is going to end badly because no amount of tuchus licking from my tribe will save us from the consequences. Just ask the Jews of the 15th and 16th century Poland how ass kissing Polish nobles worked out for them. I want absolutely nothing from the Jew hater Trump who made the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem move not for love of Judaism, but to satisfy his extremist Christian base, whose hatred of Islam he shares. But both have little love for the stupid Jews, <laughs> my sad, pathetic, clever tribal members. Then will we learn? <laughs> yes, I support a united Jerusalem. Believe me, I am tribal. I am a naked ape like everybody else on this stupid planet. If I had a choice between a united Jerusalem with the fascist traitor Trump United States or a non-united Jerusalem and a Trump-free non-fascist USA, I would pick the latter, hands down, without any hesitation. You can believe that, folks. There are holy lands all over this planet, especially right here in the USA, such as the Grand Canyon, Bears Ears, which Trump is trying to rape now, the Badlands, Monument Valley, the Great Mojave Desert, Death Valley, the Redwood Wilderness, and the Big Sky Country, among other places. I defy Jewish Prime Minister Natan Yahu trying to force the traitor Trump creep down my throat. His support for this creep is going to come back and bite us all in the ass. And again, happy 70th Israel. But sadly, I can't eat any of the cake. 
There's a Trump-Putin shit icing on it that could poison me and you for a long and terrible time to come.